Hey, everyone! Welcome to the Tenorshare channel. If you're looking for a completely free and easy way to annotate PDFs on your Windows 10 or 11 computer, you've clicked on the right video. Whether you're a student highlighting notes, a professional reviewing documents, or just someone trying to fill out forms, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, step by step. Let's jump right in! Method 1. How to annotate a PDF on Microsoft for free. Did you know Windows 10 and 11 already have a built-in tool to annotate PDFs? Yep, it's Microsoft Edge. You don't even need to download anything. Right-click your PDF file. Choose Open with Microsoft Edge. Your PDF opens up in a new tab. Now you can highlight text, draw or write using a pen or mouse, add text notes or comments. This annotate feature with Microsoft Edge is very limited. If you feel it is not enough, let's move on to the next method. Method 2. How to annotate PDF on Windows Offline On this method, you can use Tenorshare PD No PDF Editor. Tenorshare PD No PDF Editor is a comprehensive PDF management tool designed for both Windows and Mac OS platforms. It offers a suite of features tailored for professionals and casual users alike, focusing on enhancing productivity and document handling. Unlike others tool, PD Knob provides over 200 annotation options, such as highlights, underlines, stamps, and shapes, along with features for merging, splitting, and compressing PDF, and allows modification of text, images, watermarks, links, backgrounds, and more, with precise control over fonts, sizes, and colors. First things first, download and install PD Knob PDF Editor from Tenorshare's official website. You'll see a clean, modern dashboard where you can open or create a PDF. Click Open PDF to import the PDF document to annotate. Once the document is open, click on Comment in the main toolbar. Here, you will see various annotation tools including Highlight Text, Strike Through Text, Underline Text, and Stamps. Select the text to annotate and choose an annotation tool to use. To highlight text, simply click the Highlight tool, then drag over the text you want to emphasize. You can also underline or strike through text perfect for reviewing contracts, essays, or reports. Need to leave a note? Use the sticky note or text comment tool. Click anywhere on the page, type your comment, and you're done. This is great for team collaboration or giving feedback. Want to circle something or draw arrows? Click on pencil or shape tools like rectangles, ovals, or lines. This is super helpful for marking diagrams or pointing out key info. You can even add a handwritten signature. Just click on the Signature tool, create your signature, and place it anywhere on the PDF. Now you know how to annotate PDFs like a pro using Tenorshare PDF PDF Editor. Not only that, one cool thing about PDNob PDF Editor is that it's not just for annotation. You can also edit text, merge PDFs, convert to Word or Excel, and much more. So if you're working with PDFs regularly, it's a solid all-in-one solution. Let's move on to the next method. Method 3. How to annotate a PDF on Windows via Canva Online Annotating a PDF using Canva is a super handy trick, especially for people who prefer a visual, drag-and-drop interface. It's easy, and you can do it right from your browser, no need to install anything but needing internet connection. First, head over to canva.com and log into your account. If you don't have one, you can create one. Click on Create a Design, then choose Import File. Select the PDF file from your computer that you want to annotate. Now that your PDF is open, you can start annotating. Canva gives you a ton of tools to work with. Click on Elements, then choose shapes like rectangles, circles, or arrows. These are perfect for drawing attention to specific areas. You can resize, move, and even change the colors to make your notes pop. You can fake a highlighter effect using transparent boxes. Just add out a rectangle. Change the fill color to yellow or any highlighter color and reduce the transparency. If you have Canva Pro, you can use the Draw tool to freehand on the PDF grade for circling things or adding quick sketches. Want to keep your annotations organized? You can add a new page for notes, summaries, or reference links right inside the same design. This is perfect for school projects, content planning, or team reviews. And that's how you annotate a PDF using Canva. In conclusion of the three methods, I'm giving you a quick recap of the best ways to annotate PDFs, annotating PDFs using Microsoft Edge. Method 2, that is using Tenorshare PD knob. And the last one is annotate using Canva Online. 
For the recap method, you can see the pros and cons table in this video. From this table, you can see that Tenorshare PD knob is superior to other tools. Because Tenorshare PD knob is a specialist PDF editor and one of the best PDF editors for Mac and Windows. That's it. Now you know how to annotate PDFs on Windows 10 or 11 without spending a single cent. If this video helped you, make sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have any questions or if you have your own favorite free PDF tool. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.